Happy New Year! Oh, sorry, it's Happy New Second Half of 2021. You remember the Happy New Year you just shouted some six months back? And during this period, one of the funny things, or let me not say funny, trending things that happen during this period is that a lot of people set financial goals, set money goals, set uh, business goals, relationship goals, uh, educational goals, different goals. But what I want to talk to you on this channel is the financial goal. So if you look at your finances now from January to July, this is the first day in the second half of 2021. Of course, you might be watching this video on the on the day five or even uh, September, October, November, December. Anyways, it's still going to be relevant. So a lot of people shout up in New Year, set goals, set money goals. So you need to look at yourself now. Are you making progress financially? Yeah, you might want to encourage yourself, but this is one of the checkmates. You need to know if you are really making progress financially. Do you acquire more assets? Did you make more money? In January 2021, how much was in your account? In uh, um, 1st of July, how much is in your account? In January 2021, how many assets do you have? How many assets uh, do you have? Do you have real estate? Do you have stocks? Do you have mutual funds? Do you have bonds? How many assets do you have? And now check yourself in July. How many do you have? So I checked myself because when the day go by, a lot of people send me messages on, oh, it's a new uh, day in the month of July. I wish you this. I wish you that. And of course, those wishes are very important, but you have your part to play in growing your financial life. So if you look at yourself now, what have you done? How have you grown financially? Do you make more money? Was expenses too much? Of course, expenses were, were too, was too much. A lot of people uh, faced a lot of issues as regards the uh, increase in prices of items. So, <coughs> excuse me, you want to look at yourself and say, do I really made some progress in January to June? And this is the first day in July. So if I checkmate myself, do I really make some, make some progress? Yes, I do. Because I looked at my asset class in January. I didn't really have, in fact, in this uh, January to June, I purchased some properties. And of course, that is something to be happy about. In January, I didn't have that. And now this is June. I have that. Okay, did I create more income source? Of course I did. I created more income source. I, I, I add new partnerships. I add new relationships. So this is how you checkmate yourself. Did you get more um, assets? And sometimes a lot of people, when we talk about assets, they think you need to get millions um, before you kick start. With as little as 5 million era, 3.5 million era, 1 million, 500k, you could get something. So I'll, this video is going to um, just want to help you or um, we want to resonate together and see, are we really making progress financially? So there are four things you need to look at. If you want the next six months to be better than the first six months, because you need to be realistic to yourself. You need to be realistic. We need to be practical. We need to be uh, uh, proactive and reactive as regards our life. This is what the sixth, no, the seventh month in 2021. And before you know it, you get to December. We don't want to live in cycles whereby every year go by, goes by. You just discover that most people are just, li are just are living, but they're not really making impact. And that is not what I want for you. In case you're new here, I am Financial Paul. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I talk on money, investment, and uh, businesses. I teach on money, businesses, and investment. So do well to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss the videos I'll be uploading. I have a series of videos on different businesses that you can learn and in case you are not new yet i love you so much you know i was talking to one of my followers from the uk i have a lot of nigerians in diaspora so if you're watching for me in nigeria come on join them and subscribe click on the notification bell we talked yesterday for up to one hour 30 minutes discussing on improving uh ease of our financial life i don't want to mention the gender so now i want to encourage you to subscribe and like this video please i'm doing a video on the first day of the second half of 2021 don't i deserve an accolade come on subscribe now 
Okay, so and like now. All right, four things you need to look out for. Very, very simple. That will help you gain financial freedom or help you improve your finance. If you look at your bank account now, how much do you have in your bank account? Or you look at your net worth. I'll send it on my WhatsApp group. You need to focus on your network because when you increase your network, when you focus on increasing your network, you can't increase your network network without increasing your income. Sorry, you can't increase your network. Network network. Okay, let me explain it better. You can increase your network without increasing your income. And how do you increase your income? By increasing your network. So, but I'm not talking about network today. I just want to focus on your net worth and your income. So, you might be asking, what you might be asking, what is net worth? Net worth is your total asset minus your total liability. Your income is how much you make <coughs> on a monthly basis. Excuse me, you could be making um, five hundred thousand naira. And on a yearly basis, you could be making one million naira. That's your income for the year. But your net worth is your asset minus your liability. People own a lot of liabilities now or own a lot of debt. So you look at yourself, how much do I have? Well, even if you don't have assets, okay, look at yourself now. How much do I have? How much liability am I owing? If you minus the money in your bank plus your liability or your debt, that's your net worth. So you, four things that will help you grow your network number one thing you need to look out for is your income growth how do you create more income number two is to is your assets how do you create more assets number three is your expenses how do you reduce your expenses even though i don't i wouldn't dwell so much on that number four is your liability how do you cover your liability so if you look at these four things closely you will be able to make more money before the ending of 2021 so number one thing you need to look at let's start from the asset part because if you want to grow asset if you want to grow your network you need to grow your assets now before you grow your assets you need to do what you need to check out your liability because liability affects your assets <coughs> <coughs> liability affects your assets and um, we don't look at your liabilities but before we look at liability let's just come to your income because that's what we're concerned about my income how do i make more money how do i maximize the money that i have on rape tv the other day i was talking to mr lakey that if you make money now it's more than just making money but how do you maximize the money you make all these things we'll be discussing in this video just to make you become more financially intelligent and to reach your financial goal by december so please step you to the end of this video so you need to look at your income stream now what should you do as regards your income stream? i'll be so plain with you there are various things you need to look at as regards your income stream and for you to make more money you need quality money making skills you need you need quality because making money is actually a skill making money is actually a skill one of uh, my friend was surprised the way he saw my to-do list on my book i had a budget of the amount i want to make before i'm um, some months back i wrote it down Five mil, uh, how much did I even target that period? 3.5 million naira within the space of, uh, let's say, six to eight months. And I broke down my income sources, the real estate, the uh, online businesses, the offline businesses, and various other stuff. And I assigned the money I needed for each income source. That is money making skills. If you cannot put your thought on pen, um, on paper, and look at what are the different things that I am doing now, and how can I grow my income? Okay, let's start from someone earning a salary. How can you grow your income? Number one, you can grow your income by just um, um, request for an increase in salary. Of course, not the asking will my boss increase my salary. How do you get your salary to be increased? Number one way you need to do that is to be more valuable in the organization. This is the easiest, this is one of the, uh, let me not say easiest way, but something as, as simple. But uh, the, the chances are quite slim. But if you do this thing, you can request for an increase in salary and you'll be um, increased. Um, your salary will be increased if you uh, do this thing. Increase your value, offer more value than the other people working with you in your working place. If they say you should get this target of this, get more.
If they say you should come or, um, by uh, for meeting by nine, get there by eight thirty or by ten, by eight. If they say you need to reach out to this set of people, reach out to more people. What am I trying to say? Be more effective and efficient in your workplace. And over the period of time after you have been noticed, you can normally increase your salary uh, request for an increase, and they will be able to review it and might increase it. But if you want to move out from there, say, Mr. Paul, these are our work, our, our guys, then. Then no go increase salary, Mr. Paul. Tell us something else. So <laughs> that's true. Most of all these guys, them ah, they need the uh, Holy Spirit to do what to minister to them <laughs> before they can increase the salary. But how do you actually grow your income aside your what your salary? Number one, you need to look at um, um creating other side also. I will always pen down some things that I'm ready to dish out to you. So you want to look at your side also. What are other things that you can actually create that will bring in, in, in um, straight income? And there are some side also that I explain to some people, um, especially in this YouTube channel, and how you can actually increase your income. And guess what? People have been following you through and are making money. In fact, there's a lady who has a, uh, a single mother who has, uh, who's, um, she's an accountant, but she needed more money. And she has been following my YouTube channel. And I talked about all that different side also that people can do. And she kickstarted with starting out a POS business. So I'm just trying to give you an instance on side also. So she started a POS business and before you know it, she, 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 she got more machine, she, uh, she, she is now doing the transaction in two to three locations and is bringing in money. You can make a lot of money from the POS business. There are people that are investing close to 500 to 1 million to 5 million on POS business and they're making it big time. People that are making close to 50,000 commission on a daily basis from POS business, it depends on your location. And you want to look at different side hustles you can create. So you might want to go on my YouTube channel, subscribe, click on the notification bell. So by the time I start uploading these side hustle businesses, then you'll be sure to be the first person to get notified. I also have some other ones you can check at the end of this video. So you want to look at what are the side hustles that I can create. Apart from my salary, what can I create? What can I create? And you can create different side also. You can also start a small scale business. Look at a business you want to start. You look at different business you want to start online. You one beautiful thing about um, creating additional income sources is just a little other effort could make you a lot. I could remember last year when we kickstarted this YouTube channel. I was like, what can I do during the lockdown? And I started this YouTube channel, and this YouTube channel has been mind blowing. Thank you for the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. And I want to encourage you to keep on watching my video because it's going to impact you. So, and, and it's going to give you much more financial information. This YouTube channel has really helped a lot of people, giving them quality information back to back on a daily basis and you don't want to miss out so i created this youtube channel last year and i'm so glad i created this youtube channel because i've been able to impact people and of course i've been able to make money also so this youtube is more or less like a side hustle but it's not really a side hustle it could help you make millions if you look at creating your youtube channel and as a side hustle over time you make more money now you can look at create launching an online business or launching an online course you might be asking, Mr. Paul, I don't know anything. How do I launch online course? Come on. Everything is free online now. Go to Google, type PLR product. At the end of this video, type PLR product financial poll. In fact, you don't need to go to Google just on this YouTube channel. At the end of this video, just type PLR product financial poll on Google search. And you will see how you can make money creating online courses with no experience their plr products that could that could give you they call them private label right products and they give you the right to sell courses all you need to do is download them edit the name in fact there is no name there download and sell as simple as that is that is a side also you can create you can go on plr just a plr product financial at the end of this video and um, you will learn a lot as regards the plr business so that plr business you can actually download courses online and share it to people most people don't have access to this information and because they are ignorant of this information you make more money on their ignorance in fact general principle of spending money you spend on your um on things you don't know Take for instance, you buy a phone. You are paying money for this phone because 
you don't know how to create one or you are paying for a course you are paying because you don't know that and you want to get it you are paying money to buy food because you never cultivated um rice or beans in your backyard or in your farmland so people are paying for what they couldn't do so that is is not a bad idea you go online get this plr product and do what and sell it to people for as little as a thousand naira or 500 naira is um, you can make a lot of money, especially if you have a lot of audience on Facebook, friends, on Instagram. You sell these products to them and you make money. So this can be another side also that you can create that is launching online courses. Another thing you can do is to kickstart an e-commerce business. This will help you to make more money. There is uh, Yesterday I talked about level investments that you can do um, to make money and multiply money. If you have not watched it at the end of this video, come on. This YouTube channel is a jam-packed channel. In fact, a lot of people get vid are so surprised at the way I pump in video on a daily basis. Yes, because we are a growing channel and we'll be pumping a lot of videos. And I want you to stay put. So you can actually start an e-commerce business and you make a lot of money. Why people were busy sitting down from January to June People were busy making money in e-commerce business. Have you heard about the current anniversary that's going on uh, in one of the largest e-commerce stores in Africa? And that's Jumia Kunga. A lot of people are really making millions. Why people are sitting down at home doing nothing. So you can key into the, uh, the millionaire um, market. Trillion naira market. What, what, what am I saying? I say million naira market. Trillion naira market in Nigeria, in Africa, kickstarting an e-commerce business. Remember, all these little, little things will help you grow your finance. Don't sit down there. You need to rise up and take action. On Rave TV, one of the um, interviewers said, you can never have zero expenses, but you can have zero income. So if you sit down at home or you are fasting and you say, I'm not going to eat, the electricity is going. You're going to pay for electricity. You're going to pay for the internet service. You're going to pay for, for your children's feeding, food, clothing, and shelter. Even if you don't want to eat, your family members will eat. You're going to help a family member who is in need. So there is never zero expenses. There is zero income. And you don't want to be in the league of those that have zero income. So you need to look at this side business. In fact, these side businesses can be known as passive businesses when you create them set up a system where someone will manage them you can set up an e-commerce store you don't need to be actively involved upload your products online and get some of your sibling or your friends or anyone who could manage them for you and you'll be sure to make a lot of money remember there are no income there are no zero income but there can be there can never be zero expenses so somebody sitting down here watching me, you are always running on expenses. In fact, if you are in Nigeria, you make a lot of expenses because everything is high. The internet is high. The internet service fee is high. You look at the food, clothing, and shelter, high. So, so many things are high. If I was discussing with someone at the Kedja market yesterday, I went to buy a gadget, um, a particular gadget for my, to improve my um, service online. And she was complaining that then lagos a lot of money you make a lot of money in lagos but the money does not leave lagos because you spend it in lagos you don't want to make a lot of money in lagos and spend it in lagos you want to make a lot of money in lagos and invest it anywhere in nigeria or outside nigeria you can invest to stop making money and spending you need to make money and invest so you want to look at the e-commerce business you want to look at the pos business another thing you need to do to increase your income of course we're still talking about income we are still going to your expenses, we are still going to assets and liabilities. So this video is meant for you. Enjoy it. So we have, um, you can improve your finances when you improve investing yourself. I've attended various training. People are reaching out to me, you are offering quality content. You never fail with your content. I have attended a lot of trainings. If you look at my, uh, what's it called? My bookshelf, my library. What you see here is just, this is not a library, this is just for decoration. Do I read some of them? I finished reading all these ones. If you look at my library, there are some things, there are some books that I buy. What, 10,000 era book, just one book. 5,000 era book, just one book. Go to trainings, 50,000 era training, 200k worth of training. 1,000 era online training, 
10,000 naira, 25,000 naira, pay for courses, do a lot of stuff. So you need, if you want to make more money, you need to improve that person that is making more money. And that is you. You need to read books. You need to attend trainings. You need to attend seminars. You need to go for online courses. You need to do a lot of things. Invest in yourself. This is the only way you can make money. You can't give what you don't have. It is called Nemo that called none about. I can remember when I was doing my business law in eight years one. I can from this structure. I can't. I can't forget this Latin word, Nemo that called none about. Means you can give what you don't have. You can't make more than what your capacity can take. I noticed that a lot of people are poor because not really because the economy is choky, but because they, their capacity cannot really produce the money they want. So you need to grow your effort. After talking to one of uh, my old friends and he was complaining, I knew that this man. If I give him money, he's going to finish spending the money, he will still remain the same. So I told him, okay, I have something for you. I'm going to give you two books. I'm going to give you Law of Attraction and I'm going to give you the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. And I gave him those two books. And the next day, he was like, wow, thank you so much for giving me this book. If I give him 10,000 Naira, he will think that is the best. He will spend the money and still remain the same. So one of the things you need to know that makes people poor it's not really because there is no money. Money comes to their way. In fact, if you look at yourself over the period of um, one year or your life period, there is a book I wrote on a um, on, on $65 million investment roadmap. I told people that you are already a millionaire because throughout your lifetime, you've spent millions. So what happened from, uh, what's the difference between those that had have spent million before the rich and the poor money flowing into them that's a common ground but the difference is that they use it differently so for you to use money differently understand how to make money differently you need to improve your intellectual capacity on making money and that's why i'll tell you to read books attend seminars spend time growing your intellectual capital on finance so <laughs> invest in yourself excuse me invest in yourself and also create various passive income. When you do this, I will tell you, if you do all of these things, before December 2021, you'll be making a lot of money because you have actually created other income sources and you have done what you have, um, you have um, created other income sources and you have developed yourself. Another thing you need to do is look at your expenses. So we've talked about income, now we're talking about expenses. Look at your expenses your expenses is very very paramount but you want to look at your income more than your expenses because you can actually manage your expenses you can actually say i don't want to eat today or i don't want to pay this bill today i want to reduce it. so you have power over that but income you need to you need to learn that fast you need to learn how to make more money fast so you need to focus on income you need to focus on your income more reduce your expenses but let your focus be more on your income just like someone who is struggling financially and the money you are making is not enough but you're looking at the one you are spending that is too much if you look at that inflation will choke you because there are things are uh, increasing in prices now you say oh, I, I used to spend five thousand around on transport i don't want to spend five thousand around on transport now just an instance i want to spend or you want to like on fuel now I don't want to spend 5,000 naira in a month of oil. I said you'll be spending 3,000 naira. You'll be, you won't be going out. You go to the filling station, the fuel price has increased. You, you come back to 5,000 naira expenses, even though you didn't go out more. So now, when you now want to go out in the normal way, you spend 8,000 naira for your fuel, for your fuel. So, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the fuel or the fuel. Now, you can see that. You are not, the person is not really improving his finances. All you need to do is to focus on more on your income that could generate you more money so that you can meet up with your expenses. In as much as you are trying to save your expenses. Then the next thing you want to do is look at your assets. Are you investing in assets? You know, what you need to know is that you don't need to become a millionaire before you invest in assets. You don't need to do what? To become a millionaire before you invest in assets. We kick off that real estate investment with some hundreds of thousands. Invest in real estate. That is number one asset I would always recommend you to invest in. Invest in real estate. Invest in real estate. If you have 100, 400,000, 500, 
10 million, 15 million, get rental properties, buy lands at a vantage position that appreciates. I will always mention this because this is one of the ways I was shocked. I made close to 4 million naira within two months without working. And that's from real estate investment. But let's say 5 million naira within two months. It's even more. 5 million naira. I invested in a property and within two years, rather, three years now, two years and some months. So you can see that once you invest in a property, the thing that is working in your favor, your worker, the person working for you is time. Time is working for you. As time begins to go, your property begins to increase. Very simple. What, 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 what other business or investment is as good as real estate? Come to think of it. So now I have a target of getting more acres of land, growing my asset base, because that is one of the ways I make money without working. Passive income. Last video, I talked about 11 investments you want to do. At the end of this video, go to my YouTube channel, watch this video, and be engrossed by the information I'm dishing out on this video because I'm sharing a lot of information that if you watch my video every day for one year, you will become financially intelligent and you will make money. Very, very certain. Because you've gotten all the knowledge and the skills and information I have and you've got them um, engrossed in you. You don't even need to attend some. Okay, you can attend seminars, but if you watch my video on a daily basis, for a year or six months, you become financially intelligent. You will know what to do. Very, very important. So another thing you need to invest in to grow yourself as you make money from your income is channel the cash flow into real estate, into stock. Another asset you need is cash because at this period, cash is king now when you put it into use because there will be opportunities that will be coming up, that will be coming up and you might need to invest them and take advantage of them. So this is why I said cash is king. So I want to look at the Uber business, um, taxify business, you could buy cars and put in people. What you want to focus on is, um, you want to focus on uh, creating passive incomes. Creating passive incomes that you don't have to work. I prefer to create a passive income that is earning me 50,000 naira on a monthly basis than being in an active job that is giving me uh, 110,000 naira. Because if I create a passive income and it's giving me 50,000 naira and I'm not involved, I can shift again and create another passive income, give me 30,000 naira, that is 80k, I still have my time. I can shift again, create another passive income, giving me 100,000 naira. That is why I love my time than money, because I can always do much more with my time. So any business I'm creating, people are handling it. The e-commerce business is running and people are handling it. I wake up, go to the online dashboard, okay, we've just shipped this item, okay, how much do we need? to get this money for logistics and it's just interesting having passive income so if you have a car it could give you passive income you can buy like about five cars and do what or three cars you want to learn more about this uber business reach out to me you can buy like three cars we would import them from the uk and you sell it off for uber you could buy like two cars maybe within the range of 2.5 million naira and you have monthly cash flow coming in for you your car is there is well is serviced on a monthly basis you can on a monthly basis you could be earning close to two hundred and fifty thousand naira. on a daily basis on a weekly basis the uber people could pay you tw for um, 25,000 naira or 30,000 naira. and 30,000 naira in one month is um 120k if you have two cars that is 240,000 naira, and that is giving you 240,000 naira on a monthly basis you can see business knowledge this can be done when you are intelligent financially. So you have five million naira. You can set up a, a, a car business, Uber business, or taxi driver business. Put in drivers, and they begin to run it for you, and they pay you on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, and that is giving you cash flow. Imagine you are earning two forty thousand naira without working, even though you invested five million naira. But I guess I come to think of it, at the end of ten months, you make two point five million naira. You get half of your money that you have invested. And this car have a lifespan of let's say three to four years before it start giving you um, some issues. So within the space of four years, you've made a lot of money. That's how to make money, creating different passive income. Even though those income are not so much, but you don't need to be involved in the work. By the time you have created over 10 different passive income, you will see the beauty of creating passive income. 
So you need to look at uh, mutual funds. You want to look at investment companies. There are so many investment companies that are giving high return on investment now on a yearly basis. Some give 48 percent, some give 50 percent on a yearly basis. Some give 48 percent in two years. So you want to look at all these investors, um, investment platforms packages coming up we also have an investment package on our real estate organization zenith eu city we call the investment package zenith um, investment investor partners so you are partner with us so you can you can look at these companies there are people in the agricultural space that you can put in your money and you make a lot of money so you can look at peer-to-peer -peer lending this has been something that is making a lot of money People, you lend, um, you join some peer to peer lending platform where you lend people money and they pay you back interest. Maybe within the space of um, if some few months at 10% or 15%. And you can naturally see your income growing. Another thing you want to do in order to make more money before December is to watch your liability. Debt is one of the biggest liability that could um, affect your financial life. And it's also one of the biggest liability that could grow your financial life if you know how to use it very simple you don't acquire debt to buy to buy to to fit expenses you acquire debt to buy assets and that is the only way you can use debt to make money and when they acquire these assets what do they do they use their cash flowing business to do what to offset the debt and they make money so you need to look at getting these cash flows these cash flows are, will help you um, become financially free and there's one uh, one thing I didn't mention as regards the income you need to look out for I income skills you need to start learning those high income skills that relates to you making money online and these skills can be sales skills they can be skills on copywriting code calling content creation digital marketing affiliate marketing um, graphics designing especially copywriting code calling and content creation with sales skills if you can learn digital marketing copywriting code calling sales skills these four skills are very very quality skills that can help you to make money i position yourself to learn all these stuff on my youtube channel thank you so much for watching this video to this minute i love you so much please subscribe like this video comment on the comment section i'd like to talk to you i'd like to relate with you i'd like to speak with you on how you can make the next half of 2021 a better financially free um, um year I'm so glad you watched to this um, level, to the extent. I love you so much. If you watch to this extent, tell me what I said last. I said I love you so much. I have something for you. If you have watched to this level, have a great day. Bye-bye.